Hello, in this video we will learn about the cholera pathophysiology. So the cholera is the bacteria and their shape is the vibrio like structure and this coma shape. Cholera is a diarrheal disease that remain an important global health problem with several hundreds of thousands of reported cases each year. So the cholera is the bacteria can be infect the person uh, due to the contamination and several process. So here is the person which that contaminated water containing cholera. So occurrence of bacteria let's begin to understand this is the water and inside of the water this is the contaminated water by the cholera. This contaminated water can be present in the ditch, sea, rainy water. ditch sea rainy water and others uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, like vegetables the more content of water containing vegetable the risk factor for the infection of the cholera is everyone is susceptible to cholera so the poor sanitary condition is also possible to risk factor reduced or non-existent stomach acids when the stomach acid will reduce will lead to not kill this cholera virus in this way it can infect infect household exposure type o blood raw or undercooked shellfish this is a person content digestive system and this is a bacteria Intestinal disease with vibrio cholera, negative gram negative bacteria. When in fact, when ingest basically into the esophagus, go into the stomach, if the acid are not present, the bacteria can grow. While when going to the small intestine, it will basically infect. This is the large intestine and small intestine. Let's begin to understand the small intestine. This contain a lumen and the mucous membrane. And this is the epithelial cell, the brush powder cell, epithelium, and this is the submucosal layer. This is the epithelium, bigger picture, and this is the bacteria. Bacteria contain DNA, and DNA contain gene, uh, tax T. This tax T produce a transcribe into the uh, toxin T. This toxin T will trigger the other uh, genes uh, to transcribe the cholera toxin and the TCP. This cholera toxin is basically contain uh, A1, 2 and chain and beta subunit. This is the channel is known as a GM1 receptor. This GM1 receptor will receive the cholera toxin and will endocytose to form an endosome. This endosome go into the Golgi bodies for further process and the A1 chain of cholera toxin will be released from the endoplasmic reticulum. After this A1 chain of cholera toxin will trigger the G couple protein alpha lead to adenylate cyclase triggering and lead to ATP convert into the cyclic AMP as well as sodium and water will be uh, move out into the lumen will lead to diarrhea more because the water content is more more and more the cyclic AMP will trigger the uh, IRC and the CFTR uh, channel to outflux of the chloride as well as the sodium uh, hydrogen exchange will lead to more proton move pump out in this way, the water retention will remain and not absorb water too much in the large intestine. Will lead to cause diarrhea. This is the flagellum. The one flagella are present in the vibrio cholera. It uh, basically contain also the NADH or uh, quinone oxy oxidoreductase. Will lead to out outflux of the sodium also. Increased cyclic AMP will lead to diarrhea and sir. 
severe fluid loss in cholera remember because the triggering of the chloride outflux let's begin to understand the symptom like diarrhea basically and the diarrhea is due to the uh, increase of the cyclic amp and the cyclic amp will lead to trigger the irc and cftr uh, channel to outflux of the chloride nausea and vomiting as well as dehydration electrolyte imbalances basically is the electrolyte imbalance when occur in this way the muscle cramp can occur because the loss of salt and sodium potassium on the other hand the shock due to the dehydration the shock is a different type you can understand that the basically is the shock is due to the uh, basically the type of shock can be possible the Uh, shock mean the when dehydration will occur in the blood circulatory system due to the not absorption will lead to obstructive shock or hypovolemic shock etc causes is the surface well water see food is also the possible for infection when not cook completely raw fruit and vegetable and grains let's begin to understand the complication the low blood sugar is known as a hypoglycemia is the complication due to the infection of the cholera and the low potassium level due to the less absorption of the potassium from the digestive system kidney failure is also possible because the dehydration will lead to cause shock as well as kidney failure because water will be not more prevention can be wash your hands with soap and water frequently drink only safe water eat foods that completely cooked and hot avoid the sushi because sushi is the vector for the infection of the cholera cholera vaccine is also provided for this vax cholera this vax cholera is used for the prevention of the cholera before the migration thanks for watching if you like this video please make sure to subscribe like and share bye